Regarding plant antioxidants, they say the reason they are healthy is because they stimulate the NRF2 pathway, raise endogenous antioxidant production, and has a net positive effect. What is your stance on this? Mark my words, the B2 thing that we've been speaking about recently, increasing the slow methylation, everyone's going to be talking about that soon. Just remember you heard it here first. Anyway, NRF2. So, yes, we're told that these compounds are antioxidants because apparently they supply what's called a hormetic response, which is true. This is how medications work. So there are two different types of, uh, of homesis, uh, environmental and molecular. So environmental would be working out. So if we go to the gym, we lift some weights, we cause some stress, and this leads to a positive result. But if we were to train too much, then that leads to a negative result. Um, cold water dip in, red light therapy, all fantastic. UV exposure, brilliant, but too much cause a problem. Now, there's a difference between environmental hormetics or environmental homesis compared to a molecular. Now, molecular, which is what we, we're getting to now, is the, uh, the modulation of the transcription factor NRF2. Compounds like broccoli contain sulforaphane and other compounds which activate NRF2. And in the short term, that can be beneficial because what happens is, and this is a fact, these compounds are not antioxidants. And I'm going to say that again. These compounds from plants are not antioxidants. And this is a fact, and this isn't uh, disputed uh, amongst uh, nutritionists because this is what a hormetic response is. They are pro-oxidants. We put in a pro-oxidant, and this, uh, this activates NRF2. NRF2 will increase glutathione to conjugate to a toxin to remove it from the body, and it leads to a, a, a positive uh, outcome. Lead, mercury, arsenic, tobacco smoke, exhaust fumes, all activate NRF2 and activate the elicitation of glutathione. In short, what I'm saying is, you can elicit the same response from sucking on an exhaust pipe <laughs> compared to that of consuming broccoli or spinach or kale or turmeric. So put that into perspective. How can one be beneficial long term if the other is clearly not beneficial?